hi there, this is what I look like now. That guy in the, the video with the big mustache is what I looked like a long time ago. I hope you can get past our professional psychedelic production values and take in the serious information on recording and mixing that we're sharing here. It's really applicable for all types of digital audio workstations and whatever software you're mixing in. Meanwhile, my book, The Art of Mixing, is the number one selling book in the field of audio. The Art of Producing is also one of the top selling books in the field of audio. We're also doing classes here at the Institute in San Francisco. We have a certificate program and an associate degree program in audio recording and production. We also offer the same classes online now with live instructors, and that would be me. And we're now doing sound healing and sound therapy classes. We're studying how sound affects you physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. I hope you enjoy the video. Reverb is made up of thousands and thousands of delay times. When you first hear a sound in a room, the sound continues traveling out at around 700 miles per hour and hits the walls, bounces back from the walls, all at different distances, and comes back to us as hundreds of delay times. All of these delay times wash together to make the sound we know as reverb. When we place reverb in a mix, it's just like we are placing the sound of a room between the speakers. Therefore, we'll show reverb visually as a room or cube between the speakers. There are certain parameters of control that are commonly found in reverb units. First, you can change the type of room. You can think of it as different types of rooms between the speakers like this. Halls, rooms, chambers, and plate reverbs. You can also change reverb time, the duration of how long the reverb lasts. Long reverb time would look like this. A short reverb time would look like this. When a sound occurs, it takes a while for the sound to travel out and hit walls before you hear the reverb come back. This time of silence before the reverb begins is called pre-delay time. A really long pre-delay time would look like this. <laughs> it's poetry in motion. She turned her tender eyes to me As deep as any ocean As sweet as any harmony But she blinded me with science mm. And failed me in biology Yeah But a natural room, like an auditorium, has a short pre-delay time that would look like this. Mm. 
Another setting of reverb is the envelope. That is, how the reverb changes its volume over time. Normal reverb has an envelope that looks like this. Engineers, being the bored people they are, thought to put a noise gate on this natural reverb, which then chops it off. Therefore, the volume stays even then stops abruptly, like this. Ha! It's poetry in motion. She turn her tender eyes to me. As deep as any ocean. As sweet as any harmony. But she blinded me with science. Hmm. Now, if we were to take the envelope of normal reverb and turn it around backwards, the volume of the reverb would rise, then stop abruptly, like this. <laughs> it's poetry in motion. She turn her tender eyes to me. As deep as any ocean, as sweet as any harmony, but you blinded me with science, mm. and failed me in biology, yeah. Now, if we were to take the tape and play it backwards, it would sound like this. Now, if we put reverb on the vocal and record it on some open tracks, then turn the tape around to run forward, we'll get an effect like this.